All right, you guys, going into a new computer art tutorial, and what we're going to do today is create a pop art piece where we uh, just tile an image over, uh, over and over four times, and uh, just make it into a um, bunch of different filters. So to get started with this, we'll go to the Square HD option. We'll title this pop art and click create. Don't just want to do a quick Google image search for uh, whatever we wanted to use for our image. So I'm going to go through to find this image again, copy it, and paste it. And then we're going to need to work on shrinking here. So just dragging this image to the corner and then pulling it down again until we get it to the size where I can tile it four times in my space. So um, that looks pretty good. I'll probably be able to fit that under here. So that's how I know I've got the right size. Going to duplicate this layer. So right clicking and then go to duplicate layer. And that looks like it fits pretty good. I think it overlaps just a little bit, but that is fine. And um, duplicate the layer again. You know, so because my image has a white uh, background, I guess that works pretty easily. Um, doesn't necessarily have to have a white background, but because it overlaps just a little bit, can't really tell. So doing the fourth time here, and then I'll just want to crop off any extra space that I do not need. So I'm going to crop in here on the edge and hit apply, and that looks good. So now we get into the fun part, and we just kind of add different filters to each image. So I'm going to go to my filter menu here, go to the effect library. Um, Places I like to look for them are in the colors menu. Like some of these colors, uh, we could just change all the colors of all these. Um, no real exact rhyme or reason to which filters you choose. Um, I do think it's good sometimes to balance your tones. You kind of want to balance the tones in a pop art piece. Um, so if I have like kind of brighter tones at the top, maybe I want more um, lighter tones at the bottom or maybe diagonals from each other being lighter. Um, so think about that when you are choosing your filters. Um, go to the effects, maybe go to Artsy um, was another one that I had taken some from. I thought this was kind of fun, this one uh, where it turns the cut black. Um, and then the other thing you can go to too is uh, some that aren't in the effect library, but that are just down here at the bottom. Um, some other effects here, you got fringe, scanline, pick, pixelate, uh, mosaic halftone. These are all really good ones um, that can work well with your pop art piece as well. And the other thing we could do is if you want to adjust colors even further, you could uh, go into the adjustment layers and uh, or levels and adjust things like hue saturation. Maybe I want to change the tone of this cup, you know, make it something more of a red. Um, so I can go ahead in and change the colors of those filters as well. Uh, tough to do the color, change of colors in the black and white ones, but with the uh, ones that have colors, you can change the hue and saturation of. So that's pretty much it for this uh, computer art tutorial. Really quick, easy one. Choose an object and kind of tile it over like pop art.